Well, early voting is underway right now. We're just about 10 days away from the general election and St. Martinville voters will decide who will spend the next four years as the city's mayor. Our Josh Minnie introduces us to the two candidates. Mayor Thomas Nelson will be seeking his fourth term as mayor during the April 28th runoff. He says his accomplishments, like building the Veterans Memorial and getting a one-cent sales tax to build a community center, prove he's the best person for the job. I can be proud to say that our books are in order and we have no problem with our auditors. Nelson adds that his 12 years in office give him other advantages. If you have a good working relationship with your council, you have some authority. If you have not, you don't have too much authority. But Nelson's opponent, Melinda Mitchell, says the city needs fresh leadership. We appreciate all that uh, the incumbent has done in the last 12 years, but it's just time for a new vision and a new direction in St. Martinville. Mitchell, a veteran of state government, says she wants to foster small businesses in the city and improve infrastructure. And while she finished 12 percentage points behind Nelson in the primary, she's hoping to win over voters before Election Day. I'm very excited with early voting. We're getting positive feedbacks. People are running to the polls, want to vote for mail, just for change for the best for the community. In St. Martinville, Josh Many, KTC TV3. Early voting continues through Saturday. In addition to the mayor's race, some St. Martinville residents will elect a new council member. And in Lafayette Parish, several tax propositions are on the ballot. And to see what's on your ballot in your parish, go to KTC.com. Here's Rob's 